1480 WHBC presents the high school football TV game of the week. The Alt Care TV game of the week is brought to you by Alt Care, Altman Health Foundation, CSE Federal Credit Union, MCTV, Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Old Carolina Barbecue, Sarda, and Friends and Family Credit Union and can be seen locally on this TV, Canton. And a good evening to you from Breck Bueller Stadium here in North Industry as it's time for high school football again on 1480 WHBC TV as it's the All Care TV replay game of the week between Canton South and Alliance. Tonight's game pits two, two and three teams against each other. Hi again, everyone. John Bozica along with you, and I'm joined as always on the sideline in the pregame by Elmer Sheets and Noah Hiles. And first, we'll go to uh, Elmer Sheets here, my color man, and uh, get his look at the Canton South Wildcats, who, as I said, enter two and three, Elmer. There's uh, two of the guys that I'm, I'm very interested in is watching is number number one, Trent Chavers. He's a junior, he's 6'1", 205, defensive end, uh, split end, uh, comes from a great bloodline. His dad, Vic uh, Chavers, was a great high school football player here. And the other one is Tyler Karavik, the quarterback, uh, number seven, 5'9", 155 pounds. Uh, they're running the heck out of the option, and I'm very interested in watching because in order to run the option, you have to have a very intelligent quarterback makes those reads. Be interesting to watch him play tonight. Elmer twice a coach here at Canton South, once in the 80s and once in the uh, 2000s as well. So uh, glad to have him back here tonight at Breck Bueller Stadium. And now we go to the sideline and bring in Noah Hiles, who's going to look at the 2-3 and three Alliance Aviators who are coming off of a loss last week to Canfield, Noah. A very deceptive 2-3, and three, John. This Aviators team has a lot of talent, and it starts with the guy who runs their offense, Brandon Alexander. The junior quarterback led them to the playoffs last season as a sophomore. He's looking to do that again this year as a junior six foot three 200 pounds very athletic and a dual threat he's close to 600 yards in the air over 400 yards on the ground defensively the main man that leads their defense is safety Braden Hartso he leads the team in tackles with 43 has four sacks and is second on the team in tackles for losses they like to bring him up in the box he makes a lot of plays he'll be a fun one to watch tonight we look forward to Noah's comments on the sideline all evening and Elmer's comments from the booth all evening. It's the All Care TV replay game of the week at Breck Bueller Stadium between Canton South and Alliance next. There is something special about our community. It's a feeling, a spirit, and you can sense it and see it in everyone who lives and works here. Everyone in our community matters. You matter. It's a simple concept. Yet its message carries a great impact, which we all need to hear. Every conversation, each pay it forward message can have an incredible impact on someone else's life. It can start with just two simple words. You matter. You matter. You matter. People made the CRV the best selling CUV in its class. Hurry to your Honda dealer during the number one CRV event and get a great deal today. Skeppers likes to keep an eye on her neighborhood, like MCTV watches out for our neighbors to make sure everything runs smoothly for our customers. From our technicians in the field to our engineering experts behind the scenes, we use top technology to keep your internet, TV, and phone connected. Plus, expert local technical support and friendly people to greet you everything in the neighborhood the way it should be. MCTV, we go the extra smile. When it comes to our donuts, we're all in. And the new Civic handles the rest with Bluetooth built in to make life sweeter. Donuts are better with a Honda. Upgrade to a new Civic for just $189 a month. Visit NorthernOhioHondaDealers.com. And we return in here on the All Care TV replay game of the week. John Bozica, Elmer Sheets, Bob Jeffries, our statistician, and Noah Hiles on the sideline along with you tonight. 
as we bring you this EBC battle between Alliance and Canton South tonight here at Breck Bueller Stadium in North Industry, a beautiful little community and a beautiful stadium. And uh, I turn to the man to my left now and uh, talk to Elmer Sheets about, well, his MCTV keys to the game, MCTV. They go the extra smile. And Elmer, what do you have tonight? Well, John, I have a two different two different teams going against each other here. This is a game of opposites. It's like the Chinese uh, philosophy of the yin and the yang. <laughs> Uh, Lions is a wide open offense. Most of the time we will not see anybody in the backfield except the quarterback. And he's a heck of an athlete. He's, uh, his name is Brandon Alexander. He's 6'3", about 200 pounds. And he can throw as well as he can run the, with the football. Now South, uh, they're running an option attack. There's strictly option, I understand. Uh, now their quarterback's only 5'9", 155 pounds. Uh, Tyler Karavik. Um, but in order to run the option, he has to be a very smart athlete. He has to he has to make all the decisions. If he doesn't make right decisions, the offense isn't very good. So uh, I'm looking forward to this game of the opposite forces. Both these teams are two and three, but like the yin yang philosophy, they will come together and give us a great game. <laughs> you told me you told me <laughs> midweek that you would work it in. I I didn't know how. Oh. At the time, but but you smooth smoothly smoothly you really, you really attacked it. I mean, yes. you went at it a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even looked up the philosophy of yin and yang. I was reading about it today. See, this is this is a, a far stretch from last week where we had Ahiga was the Navajo saying at, at Northwest and, and twitched. That's right. That's and right. Twitched. Things are a bit different this week we're, here. We're Chinese philosophy of yin and yang. It's going to be interesting to see how these two teams match up against each other. We talked to both coaches this week, and um, both really good coaches that we're seeing here tonight. Greg Reed, uh, in his third year at Canton South, has this team um, playing pretty well at this point. They uh, started off the year a little bit rocky, starting 0-2, losing to Roosevelt and Northwest. Kent Roosevelt, that is, and then Northwest. They only scored 17 points in their first two weeks but since then they've been averaging 30 points over the last three weeks so they found an uptick in offense and I think some of that stems from the fact that they went to Army in the offseason they spent time at West Point and they actually worked to learn the option it wasn't the offense they ran last year and it's a new system this year and it can be hard to learn oh there's no question about that and again uh, what I mentioned before about Tyler uh, you have to have a great a very intelligent kid running that offense he has to make those reads, and he's going to get a, a lot of different looks. Uh, I know Seth Whiting and his staff have been coming up with uh, things all week, and you know, and it's the Canton South advantage because no one else runs the, uh, a, a true option team that they're going to face. So it's hard to simulate that at practice, and uh, so uh, it's going to be very interesting. I, like I said, it's going to be a, 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 team, a game of opposites. It really is. Yeah. Game time temperature outside, by the way, 56 degrees, wind from the north at eight miles per hour. Alliance won the toss and they deferred, meaning that Canton South will start with the football. So as we set up momentarily here, that uh, will be the case. And we'll get a look at the leg of Nick Deke, the kicker for Alliance. And I know Noah has a story later on in the game about Nick Deke. And all I can say is this, Coach Whiting is very confident in the leg of his senior kicker, no matter where they are on the field. And as I said, Noah later on in the broadcast will tell you why that is the case. <laughs> Back deep for South, Shamar Blackman, and then Dakota Fawcett as well. See how this game shakes out tonight. First good football weather game of the year, meaning that it's actual football weather. It's cold outside. <laughs> Doesn't mean that we haven't had good weather before tonight. It's just that tonight is the first time that we've had true football weather in the sense of being below 80 degrees outside. And, and some of us up in the press box are wearing jackets. Some That's of us right. aren't. The majority of us are. <laughs> That's right. Deeks kick. Fawcett will take it. And Fawcett with some decent room to run. And close to his own 30. Okay. Get our first look at this option attack. What can we expect out of the option, Elmer? Well, 
it's all what they read. It's all what they read. You know, uh, when it's either the dive, the quarterback's going to keep it, or he's going to pitch it on, all on the same play. And he has to make good decisions. He has to make good decisions. And defensively, the Lions has to be disciplined. It's a lot of flex bone, too, isn't it? Yes, yes. If they're doing the, the stuff the same as Army. Man in motion. See, there's a dive. Hand off. That's Holcomb. And not much to work with there. Take a look at our Northern Ohio Honda dealer starters. The wide receivers, Blackman and Moses. The H-back is Fawcett across the line. Stoffer, Cordes, Knoll, Bergert, and Kennedy. And then the backfield also includes Holcomb, Patterson, and the quarterback is Tyler Karavik. He is a lefty. Okay, they got trips left again. Karavik will oh. keep, and he is wrapped up. It was John Howard, the linebacker there, came into the game with eight tackles for loss and adds another one to his credit. Look at the Alliance defense here. Thompson, Oldfield, and Dats across the line. Watson, Howard, Signs, and Seals are your linebackers. The cornerbacks are McGeehan and Talbert, and Hartso and Bouguera are your safeties. Now because of Kent and South being in, what, third and 11, they don't like this situation. Well, they said they want to try uh, to gain, what, three yards every play? Yeah. That's their goal. Well, they didn't. <laughs> third and very long here. The jet sweep. Blackman in motion. Oh. Shamar Blackman brought down. Almost got free. It was Grant yeah. McGee in the corner who brought him down. Good blocking at the, the attack, uh, at the point of attack. Bouguera, the safety, and uh, also Nick Oldfield, the tackle, on the help there as well. Braden Noel will kick it deep now. And kick heads the way of Hawkins. Trey fields it, and Trey is pushed backwards. So we'll get our first, first look now at a completely opposite type of offense, and that is the... <laughs> The five wides that we're going to see That's the right. majority of the night from Alliance. Confu Confucius would be very proud of this game. Wide receivers, Seals, Bugara, and Dats across the line. It is Thompson, Oldfield, Reith, Thompson, and then Curry. And then the backfield is Howard, Talbert, and then the quarterback is Brandon Alexander, the junior. Bugara is the name, Dylan Bugara, not Bugara. Wonder if Alliance is going to test him deep right off. This is not a good formation to go deep from. They're pretty tight in there. Run all the way for Brandon Alexander and not very much. wrapped him up there. Not very much. Coach Greg Reed talked midweek saying that this defense has to pursue the football. Again, brought to you by Northern Ohio Honda. Shavers, Kennedy, Cordes, and Stahl on the D-line. The linebackers are Crayley and Crayley, which is Dominic and Jaden. Nichols, and then the secondary is Blackman, Moses, Birch, and Karavik. Alexander, that's Jeff Talbert. Talbert broke a tackle initially and then was brought down. Cole Birch appeared to bring him down the safety. You know, John, with these five wide, Canton South has to be very good. They have to be good tacklers. They can't have those yak yards. No, okay. yards after the catch. Yeah. Option here. That's first time. Alexander, and he picks up enough for the first down. Key for Canton South is going to be trying to force Alliance into some mistakes tonight. I know that's a big thing for Coach Greg Reed coming into tonight, but Alliance knows how important this game is, Elmer. I mean, this is they're, they're playing for the playoffs from here on out the rest of the year. Sure. They have three losses. They have to, they have to go on a winning streak. Talbert in motion. Alexander Whoa. to throw. Howard was there. He couldn't hang on. 
Nice tackle, too, in the open field. John Howard was going to feel it if he had caught that football. Alexander put that right where he needed to, Elmer. He just has to catch that one. There's no question about that. Right there. Right there. Hit him in the hands. He has to catch that. Best place to hit a wide receiver, too, typically. They got quadruples. I was going to say, quadruples. <laughs> one man alone out there. He gets the football. Canton South doing a good job of defending him so Very far. Very unique formation there, to say the least. Jaden Seals, the one who caught the football. You know, Not sure what the goal of that play is. Well, you know, and also they're putting quadruples into the sideline. If you're yeah, going to do that, a lot of we, space out it would there. do it to, yeah. If you want to do that, you should do it to the wide side of the field. Whoa. South jumps. Yeah. Big third down here. A little bit of excitement to try to get a turnover if they can, at least force Alliance into a punting situation. Third and manageable though now. Third and about six. Alexander gonna run. Brandon Alexander nice brought down. Very nice tackle. Open field tackle made by Jaden Crayley, the middle linebacker. As you said, Elmer, really nice open field tackle here. Nice technique. Yep. Hey. Anytime you stop a guy, it's a good technique. They appear to be going for it here, too. Wow. Alexander going to run. He's elusive. Gets the first, first down. down. But a flag, multiple Just flags. Flag. Question of where this will go. Going to be holding. It's on Alliance, I think. Block in the back. See if we can get a look at where that penalty was. Block in the back was the call. Right there, there it was. There it is. <laughs> pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes into the forefront of your screen like that, it's pretty easy to see. I wonder if they go for it now. What do you think? Oh, they got to punt it, don't they? Well, that or you have so much confidence in your defense. Yes, they're going for it. Wow. He has a lot of confidence in his defense. First quarter here still. Wow. Not even five minutes gone. Oh. And South jumps off. Becomes fourth and three now. Uh, a little bit difference now. Big difference. Because now you could potentially run the ball if you wanted to. Yeah. Before, I think you were looking at a pass. And first time Alexander is going to ah. go under center. It's a this full is. house tee. And off. Talbert. Oh, you got it. Wow. That's uh, a heck of a run. Uh, that was a heck of a three yard regain. <laughs> Greg Reed told us, head coach at South said, we can't make mistakes. One, two, make mm. two missed tackles on that. Credit him with the nice run. Yeah. Now they're going full house again. They go from five wide to the full house. Wow, this there's all there. <laughs> coach you know. Seth Whiting is uh, creative to say. In the least in his fourth year at Alliance. Not Obviously, afraid to, to as, jump straight. As a head coach, he must have too much free time on his hands I coming was up with say, all these plays and formations. That's a complete difference in strategy going from yeah. five wide to a classic full house tee. Hand off to Seals. Still two yards short. So they're going Seals, Howard, and Talbert. Albert as your your T there you know it, it's not a bad th th philosophy because they are big up front they're bigger than Canton South it's a good run yeah 
Almost halfway gone here in the first quarter as well. Still no score, as you can see on the Old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard. John Bozica, Elmer Sheets, Noah Hiles, and Bob Jeffries along with you. John Got Howard it. gets it. Got it. He has first down. Howard has enough. I just wonder what goes on in the huddle to go from going into the week where Coach Whiting literally told us, he said, I'm going to go back to some of my roots again this week and go five wide. And now, Elmer, he's, he's going with a completely different look offensively. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a small difference either, too. It's like no. a, a huge difference. It's a big difference. Like I said, he has too much free time. Now, this almost looks like a wing T type formation yeah. here. There's a wing. Uh oh, Alexander, he just broken play. And Birch brings See, him a, down the uh, safety. When you do all those kind of things like that, um, that's when you have plays like that, the broken plays. Somebody goes the wrong way, 24 saying, oh. Alexander's quick enough, though, to get out of it. Yeah. He's big enough, too. I know you were impressed with him, too. Yes, I was. When I saw him against um, North Canton in the scrimmage in the, in the summer, he was a very impressive kid. Now here's your five wides again. On Into the wide side of the field. Alexander going to go down. Boy, he's not even looking. Yeah, he, he was going to tuck and run yeah, before he was, it was tuck, even... Yeah. 24 was wide open. That was Jeff Talbert. He was wide open. Yeah, he's going to run this, no question about it. Well, maybe we'll get a look at the leg of Nick Deke early in the game. They'd be in that position to attempt the field goal here. Said he feels confident with his leg from <laughs> 55 and in. But has five wide again here on a third and long. Alexander wow. Howard incomplete. Hit him in a bad place in his hands. Second time for John Howard, too, on a drop. Is he going to go forward again here? That's the question. He seems to be fearless on going for it. <laughs> that are crazy. For as good as he says his kicker is. If he went on the 50 yard line, fourth down. Fourth and very long, 14. Lots of noise being made. Brandon Alexander throws. It's caught, but nowhere near the first down. Seals was there, but South gets a stop. What do you think, Elmer? Well, while we have this moment, too, though, we will get a uh, quick break in here on the All-Care TV Game of the Week. Five minutes left in the first quarter and no score. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. You can't tell your cold to wait. Talk to a doctor now with the new Altman Now app. Get the app now. You can't tell your migraine to wait. Talk to a doctor now with the new Altman Now app. Download the Altman Now app now. For nearly 20 years, thousands of people have relied on SARTA for safe, affordable, reliable transportation. People like Misty Williams, who's riding SARTA to a brighter future. Misty's a full-time student and mom who uses our fixed routes to get to school, pick up her son at daycare, and return home at the end of a very busy day. School, shopping, Cleveland, Akron, the airport, for work or for play. People you know count on SARTA to meet their transportation needs. And we deliver. SARTA, where can we take you today? 
And we return back in here to Canton South. First quarter and no score. South back with the ball. This is Tyler Karavik and Karavik with a decent run. And while we have this moment for the first time tonight, brought to you in part by Sarda, let's go down to the sideline and check in with the third member of our broadcast team in Noah Hiles. Noah. John, if you look at Canton South's schedule, they're really a team that just goes with the flow. Their two wins came over teams on huge losing streaks. They beat Minerva, who just ended a 44-game losing streak last week, and then beat an Akron North team who enters this week on a 47-game winning streak. Their two losses, or two of their three losses this season also came to teams on winning streaks. Salem last week, who's 5-0, and a Northwest team that entered their contest undefeated. First down on the carry there. Thank you for that, Noah. Again, brought to you by Sarda. Was Javon Patterson on the run there, the senior? Sass doing a really good job with motion, uh, outflanking Alliance and running that sweep to it. And, and you, you know, you heard me say this before, you can't get outflanked on defense. You can't have people outside you blocking down. Coach Reed said they wanted to control the ball tonight. And that's what they need to do to win well, this there's game. There's a different... That's a reverse wishbone. And toss goes to Blackman, and he was hit. smacked. That was a reverse wishbone. Inverted? Inver that could be inverted or reversed or a Y instead of an I. It is. <laughs> that was a hit there, by the way. Yeah. We're seeing all kind of formations Michael there. Michael signs the linebacker there on that hit. Okay, here we are, that Y formation. Another wishbone look. Whoa, Second down, snap, snap over the head. And falling on, and it's still free. Did Alliance I get think it? Got it? It's Alliance football. Well, wow. Coach Reed told us this week at South that they could not turn the football over. He's shaking his head on the sideline. Make this a nominee for our rock solid play of the game, brought to you by Friends and Family Credit Union. Just not a good snap. Drew Knoll, the center, snapped it over his head, and Blackman missed the football on running back there. Well, be interesting to see what Alliance does now. Will they go to that two tight ends full house, or they go quads left, or <laughs> quadruples? <laughs> quadruples left. Would it be quintuples? Could be. <laughs> Uh, this is a double wing. Keep for Alexander oh, and again, Crayley going to bring him down. That middle linebacker there and Jaden Crayley bringing him down. Kind of a war of attrition so far up front, Elmer. Yeah. Alliance is filling those, or uh, South is filling those holes nicely. Yes. Again, you know, we, t we talked about you got to stop the quarterback for them, but they got a pretty good running back in the Talbert kid. Speaking of Talbert, there he is. And there's a nice tackle made by Cam Stahl, the defensive end. Nice play by Cam there. Entered the game with two tackles for loss and practically another one here. Nobody blocked him. No. Nobody blocked him. I mean, he. Third down, even third no, and long. Even Noah could have made that tackle. <laughs> He's a confident young man, Noah is. <laughs> third down, though, here. Jet. Handoff, Bugera, Dylan brought down in the open field again. And it was Shamar Blackman. Entered the game with five tackles, also three pass breakups. And the corner with a nice open field tackle. And we're going to give a look now at the leg of Nick Deke. Kind of confusing some of the plays they've run so far, Elmer. You know, sometimes you can run too many things. Yeah. You can run too many things. Too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Yep. 
Yep. This will be about a 31 yard field goal here for Nick D. See if the senior can be true. Kick is up and it is through Good. the uprights. Good. No doubt to that kick from Nick Deke. Now three for four on kicks this year. And we'll take a timeout here on the Alt Care TV replay game of the week. Old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard has some points on it though now. Alliance strikes first. At Alt Care, you matter. When we answer your call or meet with you in person, you are the top priority. We work with your physician, pharmacy, and over 7,300 other providers. We want to be your trusted resource. We invest in collaboration, our youth, and our community, which we continue to serve with gratitude. Commitment and community were the reasons we started over 30 years ago. And why we are still here today. All okay. here, where you matter. Life, we're only like this. You wouldn't want to miss this. Looking forward to it. What's this all about? This is very exciting. So cool. You two would. Great. Mind if I have a look? I'm delighted to be here. Amen. I am. Oh, very groovy, very groovy. We're having fun today. I like it. I like it a lot. That's all there is to it. I've heard a lot about you. I've heard a lot about you, too. Turn back to the beautiful Breck Bueller Stadium here in North Industry. And we head down to the sideline brought to you by Sarda. Here's Noah Hiles. John, uh, Nick Deke is just in his first year kicking for the Alliance Aviators, but there are a lot of people who are familiar with his abilities. 17,000 to be exact. That's how many people viewed a video of him earlier this summer hitting a 60-yard field goal in practice. His head coach said earlier this week he's pretty much money from anywhere inside 55 yards. You saw the leg there when he nailed that 31-yarder. Back to you. And that drive, Simri Elmer. Thank you for that, Noah. It was not much of a drive. <laughs> it was four plays. Okay, total yards is zero. But it was a 31-yard field goal by Nick Deeks. Uh, lines three, Canton South, zero. You know, you can see sometimes, just in simplistic things, why teams struggle to have a better record than they do. And I think both of these teams, we're seeing some of the struggles that they've had through five weeks. And if one of them is going to come out a winner tonight, somebody's going to need to figure some things out. Blackman dropped this kickoff, but now Shamar has a chance. A man to beat for Shamar, and here he goes. Shamar Blackman, touchdown, <laughs> south, and he dropped it. 95 yards. Holy cow. to wake up the fans in North Industry. Yeah. They're standing up and cheering. That's a heck of a return. Nominee for a rock solid play of the game brought to you by Friends and Family Credit Union. Elmer, he dropped it initially. Wow. Boy. He turned on the Jets quickly. Yes, he did. Nice job. And the extra point is good by Braden Knoll. And South well, has the lead at 7-3. to three. We have two scores and zero plays run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Teams have run plays. But it hasn't been conventional scoring, that's for no, sure. No, it hasn't. That's a big one for Canton South. There's no question. They have some momentum now. They should have. Well, because defensively, they've been doing their job. Yeah. You know. 
What does Alliance need to do? I mean, as you said, it's almost too many plays. It's almost too much that's happening, isn't well, it? Well, you know, the, we were watching them run some of these plays, and uh, they're running inside, and no one blocks the tackle. I mean, you got to have someone blocking the tackle. <laughs> uh, the guy came in and, you know, was a one-yard loss. Um, you got to be, you know, you got to be fundamentally sound. You got to. By the way, Alliance leads this all-time series 15 to 5. And there's one tie in the series as well. And then I think you were the coach when the tie might have happened. Maybe. I'd have to look back and see. But. South's wins all came with Mo Daniska as the head coach. Post 2007, all of their wins. They won in 07, 08, 09, 12, and 14. That's when you had a quarterback kid named Matt Trissel, who was a pretty good, pretty good football player. Short kick goes to Jaden Seals, one of the upbacks. Knowles let's, did not kick it deep there. Let's see what Alliance does on this now. See if they sit down and get back to their offense that they've been running for five games and just settle down and start playing football. You think maybe that woke them up a little bit? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? We certainly are. We're going to find out. Good game so far. So far, yeah. I think some of us question what type of game we were getting ourselves into, but entertaining so far to say there the least. Is. Here's Talbert. Here's Jeff Talbert. Talbert. Jeff Talbert. He's got some speed. Hey. Was that his best Mark Paul Parks impersonation? That's, <laughs> that's Alliance, what they have to do. Get the ball to its, get the ball to a skill kid and let him do what he does best. Let him make a play. Let him make plays. One missed tackle, two missed tackles. Three missed tackles. Strength there too. Yeah. Alexander sends Howard in motion. And Alexander will keep here. Brandon. They're reading that very well. I don't know if they, they I don't, they're not reading that. I, I Cause if he was reading I'm it, saying, he'd be No, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying South is reading it very oh, well. Oh yeah, I mean. Be interesting to see on the jet how many times he is handed it off. I mean, he has almost Escobar. 500 yards rushing this year. But it's on 98 carries. Alexander. That's Hawkins. No. Hawkins going to try to reverse his field completely. That was probably a mistake. It was. Cole Birch, the safety. And that'll end the first quarter of play. A puzzling first quarter for both of us here. So far on the Alt Care TV replay game of the week, the Old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard after one has South up at home. Stay with us. When it comes to our donuts, we're all in. And the new Civic handles the rest with Bluetooth built in to make life sweeter. Donuts are better with a Honda. Upgrade to a new Civic for just $189 a month. Visit northernohiohondadealers.com. Y'all know it's football season. Around these parts, football season is barbecue season. If you want to score big on game day, make Slow Smoked Old Carolina Barbecue your go-to spot before, during, and after all the games. No need to cook on Friday. Meet before the game at Old Carolina or grab a party pack and host the ultimate college or pro football party featuring award-winning ribs, tender pulled pork, and jumbo smoked wings. We have options for all your pigskin pig outs. Get more info at oldcarolina.com. Old Carolina Barbecue Company. Meet before the game. People made the CRV the best selling CUV in its class. Hurry to your Honda dealer during the number one CRV event and get a great deal today. Wake up with Canton's morning news. Pam Cook reports all the news, traffic, and weather you need to get your day started. News Talk 1480 WHBC. Online at whbc.com. And we return in here and a look at the South student section there. And they've been a happy bunch so far as Pinktober. I saw some of those shirts tonight for breast cancer awareness this month. And the students 
helping to get that message out there. First quarter total yards, Elmer. Kind of a puzzling look. <laughs> Alliance 43 yards and Canton South 15. Hmm. Uh, it's not what you call a, a dominant offensive game so far. Hmm. Hmm. And Alliance has a third and, well, forever. I, I think they could go to Malvern and maybe not convert this. Alexander wants it all, trying to step up. Ball is loose. South is it going to fall on it, I believe, and they did. No one saw that coming. No one saw the pressure, and it was Antonio Nichols, the outside linebacker. He came before and caused them problems. Nominee for our rock solid play of the game here, Elmer. Alexander does not look comfortable, Elmer. He, he, just get rid of it. He caused the fumble and then he fell on it as well. So now back to the flex bone look for Canton South. Karavik gives. A lot of space here for Cole Birch. Elmer South looks poised so far. Yes, they do. And they're, getting, they're, they're playing with more and more confidence. That's what I was telling you before they the game. I was saying that confidence is a big thing, and they've got it right now. They believe in themselves. That's what Coach, Coach Reed told me. They believe in themselves. They don't care who the wins came against. There's... Karavik again going to go under center. Karavik has only thrown 10 times this year. Oh. Give us to Birch and well, Cole with not a lot of room to work with there. Third down coming up now. Came through there free. 21. Nice play there yeah. by Carva Hancock coming through the linebacker with a nice tackle. It's Just a sophomore, down. that's a nice tackle. Yes, it was. Third down, yes indeed, Elmer. Third. third. Oh, I was going to say, where is the down marker? <laughs> Karavik, again, gives it off this time okay. now. That was Holcomb who got the ball. Now this will be interesting to see because Coach Reed told me that they would ponder going for it in some of these situations, but I think with the lead, you punt, don't you? Oh, right now, they got the lead. They're doing a great job of defending them. And uh, why let them be, be back in the game? Why give them a chance? Punt the ball away and play good defense like you have been doing. They're dominating the game so far. Yes, they are. I know they haven't done anything offensively, but that kickoff return is...